it's Audrey and welcome back to Odd Vlogs! In today's video, um, I got some comments saying like, you guys want to learn how to be my twin, how I like get ready for the day so that you could possibly match me. So I thought it'd be fun if I give you the secret to looking like... Um, I am going to be giving you my makeup routine, my hair routine, and how I style my outfits. This is just going to be on, basically, it's kind of like my morning morning routine, how I get ready for the day. Um, so come along for my journey. You guys can get ready with me. And if you actually decide to try to recreate, like, my style, my look, um, make sure you tag me on Instagram because I do want to see your pictures and I'll try to find them. Maybe we'll start a hashtag. Do hashtag Audrey's twin and I'll try to find everyone that's like posting under that hashtag oh this will be so much fun so first step to my morning routine is I always start off with my makeup and I always do it in this little little corner I used to do it on my bed but you know it's now nice with this big mirror here also like every video I'm so self-conscious because I can see myself in the reflection so we're gonna start off with my makeup routine I always have this mirror that's really cracked but we don't care about the bad luck, we're just rolling with the flow. We use not one, not two, but three makeup palettes in the morning. I'll explain why for each. Um, so yeah, and then recently I've started getting back into beauty blenders, so this will be fun. This is my most recent updated morning routine, so I hope you are all ready. Um, I usually, you can't really see the ground right now, but I usually lay out everything that I'm going to need on the ground. I make it aesthetically pleasing. Here, I'm going to lay them out and then um, show you. All right, so let's take a gander to my floor. There you go. This is what my makeup station looks like. I have my little area of things I'm going to be using. My makeup palettes, my mirror. Also, Yes, I do have toilet paper, and that's because I use it to wipe off any fallout or mistakes that I make, so there you go. Life tip from a non-makeup artist. I'm just gonna have to give you the basic rundown of my routine because in all honesty, if I showed you the whole thing, like with no cuts, no edits, it would take a long time. That would be the whole video. I always start off with my eyebrows, fun fact. Start the eyebrows, then the eyes, then move to the face. Just because it eliminates any like um, accidental fallout into my face makeup and it's less in my brain it makes sense so I always like recently oh I need to get my head wrapped I usually put like a headband to get my hair my hair out of my face um, I usually lift my eyebrows up and then I shape them so I lift them and then I go like this <laughs> I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. I don't know how to do eyebrows, but that's what I do. I fill my eyebrows with this palette. That's the only reason why I use this palette right now is for this color that I, you can see, you can start seeing the pan. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the reason why I use this palette right now. So I'm gonna fill my eyebrows, put something in my hair, and then we'll move on to the eyes. Okay, I did my eyebrows. I have this. My face looks so bad. I don't know why I decided to film this video on this particular day because I'm just breaking out. My skin is red and dry, and so just ignore my face while we do our makeup. I just put on some eyeshadow primer and now we're gonna go ahead with our eyeshadow. So I use this palette and I use three colors. So I go in with this brush and then I go in with a light color. So this one is called Blur. And this is where I just put it um, all over my eyelids. And then I change up my eyeshadow routine every once in a while, so it's not always been like this, but recently I've gone in with a, a light shimmery color, so this one's called Barely Baked. And so we're gonna be using this light gold kind of highlighting color. And I put this one on my lid. So that's what it looks like so far. And then I go in with this color called bucked so put a little bit of that on this is like a more neutral natural kind of uh, eyeshadow look so then I just go around my uh, 
my, I don't even know like all the makeup turns. I go around my lid. And then lastly, I go in with this color called Endgame. It's this really dark brown color. And I use this to kind of like, kind of create a smoky eye in a way. I just put this in the outer corner to tie it all together. So I just lightly put it in kind of like a little heart slash V motion like so. So we're gonna blend all this together. Sometimes I touch up with a little bit of more of the lid color, but so far that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go on the other side and then we'll move to eyeliner. All right, the eyeshadow base or the eyeshadow is all done. Now we're going to move in with the eyeliner. So I always use like a black liquid eyeliner pen because liquid eyeliner is always the easiest for me. So I'll show you, I'll try to give you a close up of how I do it. I hope I can get it right. Some days my eyeliner game is better than others. You just never know what's gonna happen until it's on your face. So, all right, here we go. I try to, I start off with the wing first and then I move on to the lid. And I'm not gonna talk while I do this because I will mess it up. All right, so I made my first little mark, ta-da. And now I'm going to do the little wing and then fill it in. Um, also, I've been seeing a lot of people who do like eyeliner in the inner corner of their eye. I think it looks so cool. Like I kind of want to do it, but also it look like I don't know how people do it. I don't think I have the skill. So maybe I'll try it one time, um, but not today because that's not what I've I've never worn it before. Oh no. Oh phew, I almost messed up. Anyways, I'm gonna fill this in. I gotta speed this process up. This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> All right, we did the eyeliner. I feel like the eyeliner always, oh my gosh, my face. Oh, this is not looking good today. I feel like my eyeliner always pulls in the eyeshadow more. So, now that that's done, let's move on to eyelashes. I'm going to curl them and then uh, put some mascara on. And my all time favorite mascara that I use is this one that's called Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've heard that they just come out with like a magnet one that I kind of want to try. Um, also, another thing that I heard is you're supposed to heat these things up before you use them. Like someone tell me if that's true. Are you supposed to heat up your eyelash curler with like a blow dryer before you curl your eyelashes? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, my eyes are now done besides like inner corner highlighter, but that's what I do last. Now we're gonna move on to the face. I just put on some Pore Professional from Benefit to like smooth out my face. And now I'm going to be putting on some foundation. I have never really done this that much in the past, but ever since I got that uh, this from um, that one video, what was it, like TikTok ads, I think. Um, I've been trying to use it because I have it. So I use my Beauty Blender and um, I'm a little concerned, I think to say the least, because if you look at this, what are these black spots? And like the little things around them. Like, I can't tell if my foundation is molding or if it's just the bottle, like if it's just empty. But I got, I just barely got this, so it shouldn't be expired and it shouldn't be empty because it's a new bottle. So I just do a little bit and, um, because this shade is not exactly the right shade because I bought it online and I don't know how to match my skin tone anyways. Like you could tell, like, I don't know if you could tell on camera as much, kind of. It's a little bit off. So I'm just gonna put this everywhere on my face. Usually um, before I ever use foundation, I would just go in with this. Oh! Okay, it's fine, I think. Gosh. Okay, well, usually before foundation, I would just go in with some um, setting powder, powder foundation, um, and I still do that on top of this foundation, just because like I feel like it makes it look better. So, anyways, I'm gonna put this on. Then I'm gonna put this on. I don't think I need to show you this because you can't see it when I put it on my face, and uh, we'll be back with hopefully. 
a little bit better makeup. All right, my foundation face is all ready. Um, as you can tell, like it doesn't fully cover up all of my problem areas, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think it does. It does the job enough. Did I blend my neck well? <laughs> we are now gonna be applying some um, bronzer, and I also don't really have much experience with this, but I just I'm just trying to try new things. So I put a little dabby dabby. I use the same brush for everything: foundation, bronzer, blush. I have more brushes, but I just like this one. Also, this one smells like chocolate. It is amazing. Highly recommend. This is Too Faced Chocolate Soil. It's really, it's really delicious, I guess. <laughs> so, what I do for bronzer is I go, and then I go, hmm. And then I just like do an upward swooshy motion, like this. And so I try to do that on my cheeks. I can never tell if like, when to stop, you know? Like, is it too much? All right, I put on, oh my gosh, I feel like it looks a lot worse in the camera. I put on the bronzer. <laughs> I feel like I really need to blend this out even more now. Like, in person, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe it's the lighting. <gasps> oh, it's maybe the lighting. But now we're gonna go with some blush. This is called Dream Rush from Benefit. I'm using, I realize a lot, I, I realize I'm using a lot of Benefit products. I didn't know I had that much but I love them because they smell so good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks right here. I don't need to put a whole lot on because my cheeks are naturally just pink. Um, and this, like, even though I used to be doing this, it like, it doesn't come off that much. It's not that strong of a blush. So that's probably good, I think. We're gonna be adding the highlighter and that's where I use this palette. <laughs> just for the highlighter baby. Yep, when I'm on vacation, I literally have to bring three palettes with me. I should just buy like a single use palette, um, like a single like little square. But anyways, I use this color right here and I go in with this little brush and I put them in my inner corner, like right here. It just like makes you look a little bit more awake, like so. I'm using the camera viewfinder as a mirror right now. So I also put it on my brow bone, like just to highlight the outer edges. A little bubbling. And then I go in with my finger and I just swipe it right here and do a little swipey right here. I'm gonna have this highlighted forever. Like it's gonna it's gonna last me ages my last step is I've been using lipstick shocker right I never used to put on lipstick um, this is elf in the shade touch of pink and I got this because of that TikTok ad video again thank you <laughs> and I just put it on my lips like this and rub it oh my lips are so crusty ew I'm a hot mess today, guys. What can I say? And that is officially my makeup routine. We are all done. Usually I would set my face with setting powder, but I ran out and I haven't bought any new ones. And I don't know if I actually need it. So this is what my um, makeup looks like in the end. Don't look too closely. It's not that good. But it's good enough for me. So ta-da. Now that we have my makeup all done, I think we should go do my hair, even though I am so sweaty, but I think we should save the outfits for last. I'll give you a few outfit options that I gravitate towards or things I think are very unique about my style. Um, but let's let's just um, go do the hair. All right, welcome back to the bathroom. <laughs> so uh, this is gonna be my hair routine. This is what my hair looks right now, looks like right now. It's actually not too bad until I blow dried it. Then it got kind of crazy as you can tell right here. But all of it was pretty much wavy like these front pieces. And it was looking pretty cute. And every time I think like, oh, maybe I'll just leave my hair naturally, I kind of end up regretting it. So we're gonna do some, some work to it. All right, so first step, I'm gonna brush my hair out. And then I'm going to, ow, ouch. Then I'm going to section my hair into layers. So I just grab my hair like this 
and kind of do like a half up, half down sort of situation. And then I try to push it up as tall as I can and wrap it around my finger. And now we're gonna be sticking it in this clip like so, just to hold the hair out of my way. And then I'm taking the hair in the back and splitting it in half and point it to both sides of my face, just to make it easier so I can like see what I'm doing. Also, I'm in dire need of a hair trim because the ends of my hair are feeling a little crunchy. I'm going to section off this probably in half, I'd say. And take my wave iron. Gosh, I really need to be looking into a real mirror, but I'm looking at the camera. And then I'm just gonna clamp down and count to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I just move it down a little bit. And we're just gonna keep moving it down counting to 10. Honestly, most of the time I don't really count. I just kind of like wait until I feel like it's been long enough. <laughs> so I just do that and then <laughs> keep moving it down. I'll show you what it looks like so you guys get the gist of it. But that's what it looks like waved. It's just a very loose kind of wave. It's not the most perfect one I've done. I kind of messed up at the bottom. But that's what I do, basically. So I'm gonna do the rest of my hair with this wave iron, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like, and then we can plan our outfits. Okay, the hair is all done. That took me a good hot minute, probably 30-ish, 45 minutes to do. Getting along. But my hair is all done. This is what it looks like. It's so wavy. I just love texture like I just love texture in my hair and my hair is not like I didn't do this perfect you could definitely see some spots where um, I kind of messed up like right here this is way poofy compared to this side oh my gosh yeah I need some help and then there's like some areas where the waves aren't perfect but you know what no one's gonna be looking too close right <laughs> so now that my hair is all done for the day, we can pick some outfits, which I'm so glad for because this is mega sweaty. I am dying, especially since doing my hair with heat. I, I need a change. So I'm gonna probably do, let's do three outfit options of things I would wear. And that will be the end of the video of how you look like me. Okay, so I'm officially in my first outfit and I'm gonna be showing you them in my closet over here um but i feel like i have to explain my closet a little bit because i don't know if you guys have seen it recently so <laughs> i'll show you my outfit and then i'll explain <laughs> the background situation because it's kind of crazy but as you guys expected this is outfit number one i feel like this is like my go-to like whenever i want to get like dressed up and kind of fancy like this is what i envision and this gives me like my adventure city vibes kind of so we have the famous pants that i actually got for a video Fun fact, a lot of things I like work in my routine I actually got from videos, but I love this one because I love a good, you guys know me, I love a good pattern, fun, crazy pants. Like I love to pair things around my pants. So this one's fun because it has deep pockets. It's also very, very loose. And what I love about it is this belt. Like the belt is just, I just love the top part of it. So fun. Then I had to like go simple with the top because if you're going a little bit crazy at the bottom, you gotta tone it down for the top. So I have just this black kind of like collary. You can't really tell, um, but there's like little frills on it. Kind of like a turtleneck in a way. And then of course the classic adventures hat. Now to explain my background. Okay, I try to make my closet like adventure theme. I had a lot of pictures on the wall that fell off. So work in progress. This is actually my, you can't see it. I have my wedding flowers up here that are dried and like preserved. This is where my hat usually goes, so it kind of looks a little empty, but I have a little picture of like places I've been to that I can scratch off. And this is my Europe book that I made with my friend and some bags. 
These are all of my shoes. Can we just ignore this? And then of course my clothes. Let's go on to outfit number two. <laughs> all right, so this is the second outfit that I would pair together. This one's a little more tame, I, th I think. Like compared to the last one, this one just looks like an ordinary kind of outfit that I styled up a little bit. So I got, surprise, surprise, this shirt from a video. It's actually from your favorite clothing stores, which was so much fun to film. And this shirt is so soft. It's a cropped like, button down v-neck um, so like on normal pants it would not be long but I paired it with these pants because I love these pants they're really fun they kind of like give you the tighter mom jean kind of feel and I love the top because the top has um, like like these little fold like it looks like a collar but for your pants like it's a collar for your pants. But let's go on to the last outfit. All right, here is the last outfit that I've paired together. I switched things up with my hair a tiny bit, but first of all, I have these high-waisted gray heather pants. They have like three buttons, which is kind of fun, kind of fresh. Love high-waisted. And yeah, this is what it looks like. I wish you could see like all of my pants. <laughs> there you go. And then I have this sh white shirt. It's very plain, very simple. It has like these little tiny I don't know what these are called. Comment down below if you know what these are called. I gotta sneeze. So yeah, they have like these tiny little details on like the side and the top. So I paired these two together because I think they work together. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing crazy, but kind of fun, kind of fresh. I think the most fun of this comes in the jewelry. So we kept the same jewelry as last time, but we added these fun bad boys. Yeah, yeah. So I put my hair, like, I don't know if you can tell, the front's a little bit shorter because these are my, uh, do people call them curtain bangs now? They're like my, they're, my hair is layered, so they're just the front pieces. I pulled the hair back though into a little hair tie right here. Um, so that way it just adds a little something different. That way like it pulls on my face and you can kind of see the earrings a little bit more. But I also want to keep the front pieces to like shape my face and stuff. So anyways, that's what that looks like. Um, also every single piece of this outfit I got once again in that video where I shopped from your favorite stores. Literally got so much inspiration from that video. I have a lot of pieces in my closet, like this fuzzy sweater <laughs> from that video that I am just having fun, so much fun, like pairing outfits and putting things um, together. So yeah, this is the last outfit. I'll probably wear this for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, that is my whole routine of how you can be my twin, how you can look like me, how I get ready in the morning, how I do my makeup, my hair, my outfit choices. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more routines or more vlogs, make sure you thumbs it up and leave a comment down below. What kind of fashion style do you have? Like what, what sort of pieces do you lean more to? And yeah, you guys know what time